Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've just joined us. My name is Smell and in today's video we are talking about an island with a history so dark that it has the somewhat infamous reputation of being the world's most haunted island, Bolivia Island. So, as always, grab a drink, dim the lights and let's get into it. Located between Venice and Lido in the Venetian Lagoon, Pavolia first appears in the historical records in 421 AD when people from Padua and Este fled there to escape invasion from the Huns. Now this actually turned out to be a pretty smart move really because it turned out later that Padua, Este and several other towns actually ended up being burnt to the ground. In 1379, the city of Venice actually came under attack and the people of Pavalia were moved off for their safety. And the island after that remained abandoned. In 1527, the Doge actually offered the island to a group of monks. However, they in the end refused the offer. However, it wouldn't be too much longer until the city found a use for the island after all. In 1793, there were several cases of Black Death that arrived on two ships attempting to enter Venice. It's a way to try to contain the outbreak. The Italian government decided that anyone attempting to enter Venice was first have to quarantine for 40 days on Pavolia Island. Here's a fun fact I learned while making this video. Pavolia is actually where we got the word quarantine from in the first place. Coanta is actually 40 in Italian and people were forced to spend 40 days on the island. When the Black Death came round again, the plague doctors were ready for it. Anyone even remotely suspected of having the disease were forced onto the boats and sent over to the island. If they didn't have the plague then, they certainly would very, very soon. Being sent over there was more or less a death sentence, regardless of whether or not you actually had it. I mean, can you imagine feeling even remotely unwell and being forced away from your family and friends knowing that you'd never see them again? I can't even begin to imagine how horrendous that would be. Once over there, the victims who succumbed to the disease were either thrown into what were plague pits or their bodies would be burned when authorities eventually ran out of room on the island. It says that at least 50% of the soil over there is simply made up of the ashes of plague victims. Great for, you know, trees and wildlife growing there, but a uh, rather disturbing thought. To this day, fishermen dislike going too near the island for fear of catching more than fish in their nets. In 1922, the island was turned into an asylum and hospital for the mentally unwell, and unfortunately, the conditions, as you can probably imagine, were less than ideal. Mental health back then simply wasn't as understood as it is today and patients were forced to undergo absolutely horrendous treatments and procedures. Even back then, patients began to report seeing and hearing the spirits of plague victims. However, they weren't believed because, well, in the doctor's eyes, they were mad anyway, so it's all a figment of their imaginations. 
there was one particular doctor in particular who sadly made the most of the solitude and remoteness of Pavolia Island. He was well known for being quite the sadist and performing all kinds of horrific experiments and procedures on patients. Things like lobotomies and other cruel experiments that were honestly nothing to do with the medical side of things. It said that he would take these patients up to the bell tower where he would perform these experiments and their screams could be heard right across the island. It is said that this evil doctor eventually went mad and either threw himself off or was pushed off the bell tower, either by vengeful patients or perhaps even the ghosts of the victims he had murdered. There is a story that a nurse witnessed him fall however claims that he wasn't dead when he hit the ground. Instead, she says that she saw a mist rise out of the ground and choke him to death. Simply trauma from witnessing something like that? Or could it really have been the spirits of the victims he had so ruthlessly killed? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Either way, I think if anywhere in the world deserves the title World's Most Haunted Island, it's definitely going to be this place. In recent years, TV shows such as Ghost Adventures and Scariest Places on Earth have filmed there. However, before you pack up all your ghost hunting equipment and book yourself a flight to Italy, know this. It is absolutely illegal to go to Folia Island without the proper okay from the authorities and the Italian government. But obviously there are people who have been able to get onto the island. You know, humans do find ways of getting into places they're not meant to get into. However, like I said, it is highly illegal. You will get arrested if you're found on there. Um, people mostly try to hire fishermen to take them round and yeah some will but they will ask for a really really heavy price to take you and even then they won't stick around they will literally give you their number and say me in a couple of hours and I'll come and get you like they will not under any circumstances stick around there not just you know out of fear of the ghosts but also fear of the police because they'll also get into a massive amount of trouble as well to be perfectly honest I'm not surprised that this island is so difficult to, to gain access to I mean even without the possibility of vengeful ghosts of the plague and asylum victims who have died horrible deaths there. We're talking about an island that's been deserted for so long. Like, it would be a literal health hazard and if anything happens to you and you by yourself, no one would ever know. In 2014, the Italian state actually auctioned off the island in a 99 year lease in an attempt to raise the country's revenue and the plan was to build a luxury hotel on the island. Now I actually remember hearing about this when the news first came out and I remember being so annoyed and saying how it was such a bad idea. I mean can you actually imagine a grand luxury hotel built on you know the site of thousands and thousands of burnt decomposing bodies to plague victims and you know and 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 people 
who died in the asylum and hospital where? Ah yes Mrs Smith, here's your room key and oh yes if you wake up to hear bone chilling screams at night don't worry about that, that's just the spirits of the plague victims. Nothing to worry about, perfectly normal. Yeah, I don't think so. The highest bidder of this auction was an Italian businessman who bought it for 513,000 euros and his plan was to invest 20 million euros into the restoration plan. However, the lease never actually went through. Now, uh, some sources say that it didn't go through because the bid was seen as being too low. Other sources say it didn't go through because the project apparently didn't meet the correct conditions. What those conditions are, I couldn't tell you. But either way, um, the beliefs simply didn't go through. First, he did actually start proceedings to fight the cancellation however when he then became the mayor of Venice he kind of gave up that fight which fair enough I guess either become mayor of a huge city like Venice or owner of a island of the dead I, I, I don't know man I don't know <laughs> like yeah, I guess it's a no-brainer really, right? In 2015, a private group actually planned to raise between 25 and 30 million euros in order to try to buy this lease and form a new plan for the island. Their initial idea was to build a public park, a marina, a restaurant, a study centre and motel on the island. However, to the best of my knowledge, that has also fallen through and the island remains derelict and abandoned to this day. If anyone has to spare 30 million euros to splash out on, there's a abandoned haunted island for you, I guess. Just uh be careful not to annoy the spirits. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Until next time, stay safe and sweet dreams.